Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Stable Diffusion AI on a mobile device. So here you can see that I found the app Stable Diffusion AI in the Google Play Store. And I already installed it. So you can use it, for instance, for text to image. And you have the option to use uh, an online service, but you can also uh, download a model. So let's see, uh, settings, oh yeah, configuration. So you can try to connect to some online services, uh, but you can also do local. So in this case, I'm running with Microsoft Onyx. And if you select that and click next, then you can see that you have a choice of several models. So I went with Dream Shaper. Um, yeah, just uh, try some models yourself and uh, see what gives the best results for your kind of queries. Um, so once you have the model you can do the setup. So there are also advanced options. So the default is 20 sampling steps. So you might try 10, but then that might give some lower quality. But yeah, less steps is faster, but you might risk that the quality is not the best. So here is where you can type in what you would like to have generated. Now, uh, I'm not going to generate in real time because on a mobile device uh, that can take like uh, several minutes and uh, if you have like a really slow device, then it's going to be a lot of minutes. So here is one example. And you can see my prompt was a penguin on a surfboard. So I think uh, that is a good depiction. So with this app, it's um, really easy to generate images and you can even use it with a local model. And uh, yeah, I hope you have uh, fun with this. Uh, I also noticed that sometimes people um, will try to uh, do it with uh, the Linux application on Extreme and then install Termux and they say that with one of my older videos it no longer works and that they get errors so yeah I will probably will have a look at that also but I guess this is a really easy way uh, to start playing around with Stable Diffusion but if you want to have Stable Diffusion XL Turbo then I haven't found an app to do that. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, my Android device is um, set up to blank the screen quite fast. So, but um, yeah. Anyway, I think this um, app is a real good starting point and 
if you want to have a try at Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on your mobile device, that is also possible. And as I said, I will probably have a look at that uh, somewhere in the near future. So this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.